That is the confluence of the Mississippi there on the right and the Ohio on the left here in Cairo, Illinois. Yeah, remember me? Now we're starting our uh, 2024 snowbird season. Uh, I got on the road yesterday, drove 12 hours from Michigan down here to uh, the very southern tip of Illinois. And uh, yeah, there's the Mississippi River. And we're the Mississippi and the Ohio meet. Some barge traffic here. Got in right at dark last night, so I didn't get a chance to look around until this morning. Spent the night here in the parking lot. Only one here. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a tugboat right there. They've been pushing these barges around all, all night long. A little bit of noise, but not too bad. This is actually a state park here in Illinois, land of Lincoln. Um, nobody here. I've heard it called an abandoned state park. <clears throat> it looks like there used to be some campground over there that is long since gone. I got a feeling that uh, when the Mississippi and the Ohio flood, this whole park is uh, a flood zone. And uh, I think they've kind of given up trying to uh, trying to maintain this park. So there's not even anything about fees or anything. So I just pulled into a big parking lot here and did a quick overnight. Fort Defiance is the name of this place here in Cairo, Illinois. I believe uh, Fort Defiance was... Um, um, when the, what's uh, Clark and Williams? Yeah, Mary Lewis and Clark. Yep. This is where, where they uh, started. Yeah, here at Fort Defiance. Yeah, you can see the tugboat I listened to all night long. A couple years ago, inspired by uh, one of my friends who went around the country and did every high point of every state, climbed every mountain, and I got a little, I don't know, inspired. So I thought I'd do every low point of every state, which is a hell of a lot easier. And most of them are on beaches. So, um, I did three or four and kind of gave up on the idea. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start that back up because right here would be the uh, low point of Illinois. That is the tip of Illinois. You don't go any farther south than that. And uh, as the rivers are going downstream, that would be the low point of Illinois. So maybe I'll uh, scratch that one off my list. I've been to the low point of Illinois. And if you go to any of the beaches of Florida, you've been to the low point of Florida and any of the beaches anywhere around the country. That's usually the low point of that state. Sea level. So yeah, I uh, did a 10 hour day yesterday. Made it down here to Cairo, Illinois. I think I'm gonna start up the van. Thought about sticking around, maybe just doing a half day today and hanging out in Little Rock, Arkansas, but woke up this morning, it was 38 degrees. <laughs> I wanna get south. I'm pushing towards South Texas. So I think I'll go on down to Texas today.
do another 10 hour day, get into Texas, stay two or three days at a little park that I saw on YouTube and uh, regroup, figure out what I'm gonna do from there. I think in this, uh, this winter, uh, spend December in Texas. It's already halfway through December. But, uh, December in Texas, Quartzsite, Arizona in January. February is gonna be uh, Joshua Tree and then maybe up towards uh, Northern Arizona. March, maybe get up into Death Valley. And uh, back in Michigan in April. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a giant parking lot over there. Handle any size rig, probably several any size rigs. But you're over there next to the tugboat that was loud. Should have parked right here. I was afraid kids would be coming through all night, but not a single tr vehicle came through. Rig's all ready to go. This year I do have the e-bike. It's all ready to go. Drives good. So yeah. Time to get on down the road. Well, made it down to Texas, uh, barely. This is, uh, now that's one of the backwaters of the Toledo Bend. The main water is just outside there and the other side of the lake, reservoir, whatever this is, is uh, Louisiana. So we're right on the Texas-Louisiana border um toledo bend i believe is the reservoir the sabine national forest state forest not sure at a campground that is uh actually free right now it's free there's a sign posted saying no fees until further notice so that's pretty cool Yeah, I forget the name of this campground all of a sudden. Came down here on a Friday night, um, right before dark. I said two hard days of driving. First one got me down to the southern tip of Illinois. Got up in the morning and drove down to just over the uh, Texas line to this campground. And, uh, yeah, I'm uh, the only one here. Been here two days over the weekend, came in Friday night, and uh, stayed all weekend, no one here. There's actually two loops. There's another loop over here by the boat ramp. And uh, there was three or four people over there, but I'm the only one here. And uh, you can see it's right on the water. I'm sure during the summer, this place is probably pretty busy. Uh, bear proof garbage. There's a uh, pit toilets up there. No run, no, uh, no flush toilets, no nothing. Just a, uh, Really nice, clean pit toilets. I think there's probably, uh, I'm going to really estimate here. One, two, three, four, five, ten, probably 10 or 12 campsites in this, uh, in this loop. 
probably maybe a couple more, maybe 15 on the other loop. I'll throw a map up here. And uh, there is... Never did test this thing. Oh yeah, running water. I may uh, top off my tank before I get out of here. Nice. Yeah, what's this place called? Um, Tweedle Bend? Something like that. I saw it on YouTube. Um, saw it was free, and it was about at the right spot that I needed to be at after a long drive. So I ducked in here for uh, two days just to recover after two 10 hour days of driving. And uh, now it's Sunday morning. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm about three hours north of Houston. And I'm thinking of going to... Uh, there's your pit toilets. Yeah, like you see in any national forest campground. Yeah, thinking of uh, heading over to the... Johnson Space Center tomorrow. So I may uh, reposition here this afternoon, get a little closer so I can just duck into the uh, Johnson Space Center, spend the day there tomorrow, and I won't have a three hour drive to get there. I can just get there right when it opens. And you can see a picnic table, fire ring. Not all of them have. Uh, those nice fire rings. In fact, I think maybe that was one of the few spots here that does have a fire ring. They do have nice level pads. Another garbage thing. This was paved. This still kind of is. It's asphalt paved, really level, with a little tent spot behind it. Picnic table, hook. You can see down there is the, I eh, barely see it, is the um, backwater to this uh, Toledo Bend Reservoir, I'm going to guess, just looking at a map. It's right on the line between Louisiana and uh, Texas. Like I said, there's two camping loops. There used to be several camping loop. So I kind of got the bike out yesterday and tooled around near some old abandoned ones that you cannot get to. You can walk to them. But uh, so there's two loops. I'm the only one here. It took me a day to figure out why is because the other one is on the main reservoir, the Toledo Bend. This is kind of on a backwater and they have 5G, um, like three bars of 5G on the other on the other loop here. Not so much. Barely getting getting uh, 4G. Just uh, two or three bars of 4G. But I'm the only one here, and I really don't need the internet access right now. Just enough so I can download a little YouTube or get an email out if I have to. But I'd rather uh, see right off the campsite is the water. I'd rather just be here by myself. Yeah, nice uh, flat area park on kind of like a this is almost like a tent area here big double uh, picnic table on concrete and a leaning lantern hook yeah took a nice two days to relax and kind of catch my breath from the long drive now we're just going to putz for uh, a few weeks. Thinking Johnson Space Center tomorrow. Uh, and just follow the Texas coast down. I kind of want to see the SpaceX facilities down in um, the very bottom of Texas. So I may drive down there next week before heading towards Quartzsite. So yeah. 
starting the 2024 snowbird season. Should be fun. Let's go explore. <laughs> 